Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I'm Jamie B. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the brand new Urban Decay Brow products. I'm going to try to use all of them on my eyebrows. As you can tell, my eyebrows are done. Before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get instantly notified when I upload and become part of the hive. I do so many fun videos on here, product reviews, makeup tutorials, hauls, fun challenges, and all of that good stuff you don't want to miss. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. I love you and I miss you. And don't forget, guys, I do upload three days a week right down here at 5 p.m. Eastern time every single week and you don't want to miss out. So if you're excited to see what I think about the brow products, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I zoomed you on in so you could take a closer look at what I'm doing with my brows. Like I said in the intro, I am going to be trying to use all of their new Urban Decay brow products. Um, I picked up all four of the new items that they just recently launched, and hopefully it'll turn out well. If not, then I will probably just wind up going to my old but faithful ABH products. I do use their dip brow, the duo powder, and the brow gel, and I'll go ahead and link them below so you can take a look at them um, or purchase them if you like. They are freaking amazing. Um, two things I want to say before we do start is one, this is the first time I have done my brows on camera, so bear with me, and two, I am using brand new brow products, so I'm hoping that this video turns out really well. Hopefully Urban Decay does not let me down. So we're gonna go ahead in and I'm gonna introduce the products and then I will start to use them. So the first thing that I picked up was the new brow blade. It is a waterproof pencil and ink stain. So I'll go ahead and try to do it so you can not Okay, so there's that. So it looks like one end is a pencil and then one end is ink. Take a look and i got it in neutral neutral nana most of the stuff i got was in um the dark drapes but they didn't have this one in dark drapes in either of the ultas near me so i was like well neutral nana seems to be pretty dark so i swatched it on my hand and it was pretty dark so i'm hoping that it's gonna work out and if you hear it it's just kind of like a liquid liner it kind of shakes so i am going to go in the only problem this is the tip of it the only problem that i have with these microbladed like products is they never seem to work out. I tried the uh, Maybelline, it was like the Tattoo Studio. It looks like it has like a comb and I tried that and I tried it and I tried it and I wound up not even reviewing it on here because it turned out to be complete shit. Like a friend of mine was like, you know, I keep trying and it's not working for me. I wonder if I'm doing it wrong. Well, no, you're not doing it wrong. The product is just shit. So this item was, $26. So we're going to go ahead. I'm actually going to go in with the pencil part. So, and the pencil just looks very thin, pencil like. So I have to comb my brows. The ABH, I think it is A12, or yeah, the ABH 12 double ended. I'm okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to draw that brow. Usually I use the dip brow to draw on my brows, so I'm hoping that this works out for me. So Neutral Nana actually seems to be just a bit too light for my liking. Okay. And what I like to do is I just go all the way out and then room. So what I usually like to do is I go all the way out like this just to kind of stencil it out. And then I will go in and fill it through. So I'm going to do what they said. The pencil is to fill in the brow. So I'm going to fill it in. So if you look over here, it's not as sharp as I really like. This pencil is really actually crap. Like it's, <laughs> it keeps breaking. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to try to go as light as possible. I'm not going to fill the front because I am going to use their brow powder to be filling the front. And anything like underneath it's messy I will clean up with concealer I do try to make the top as clean as possible because I don't like to outline my entire brows with concealer so I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye off camera and we'll be right back for the next step all right guys so I went ahead and I put this one on but let me just tell you what happened first of all it took me about I'm gonna say 15 minutes to do my other brow and I'm now out of 
the brow pencil. So luckily I was able to get it to somewhat fill in and complete, but these are the pieces that broke off and it's gone. Like there's nothing left to the pencil at all. So I'm gonna say that this is a piece of sh and not to use it. So what I'm gonna try to do is go in with that ink stain and try to do the microbladed effect, but I don't think that it's going to rip because it is just too light. Yeah, so this color is just way too light for me, which is probably gonna be my fault and that's fine, but the product itself, like it's just not good. And anything like that I can clean up. So I'm gonna try to do brush strokes through it because it's so light. I'm hoping that the ink part will kind of like darken it a little bit, but I just tried to do it with the front and it did not work. But I'm just really upset because I spent $26 on this pencil and it all broke to the point that there's none left. <laughs> oh God, okay. And this is why I don't do little hairs in the front because your girl don't have any hairs. So it's kind of hard to make fake fluffy hairs. Okay, so this pen, look at that. Like it just, it doesn't have any color to it. And this is supposed to be neutral for like browns. It, don't waste your money on this one. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead in with the Double Down Brow, which is waterproof, smudge proof brow putty. Um, and this one, I believe, was $29. Um, they don't have these in all of the shades that they have the other items. This one is Brunette Betty. So basically, like, they have five of these, which, like, a couple shades go in each one. And this was for the darkest. This is Warm Brown, which I'm going to tell you it's probably not the case. So I did go ahead and dig into this one the other day. And it comes with a small spoolie and a small brush, but here's the problem. I can't use this brush. It's way too small, um, and it'll make your brows, like, way more complicated. Can we just not look at my brows right now? <laughs> it looks so bad. All right, so it calls it putty. However, it, it's powder. Like, it's not putty. It's definitely powder. You have a dark one, and then you have a light one, but it's definitely, definitely not putty. So I'm going to go ahead in with my ABH 12 which is what I usually line my brow with. And I'm gonna go into that darker shade and I'm gonna try to darken up around the line and fill it in with that dark shade to get it off a little bit darker around my liking. So usually for me, I do not use a pencil to fill in my brows just because I don't have a lot of brows. I feel like pencils are made for people who already have pretty full brows and they just need to kind of fill it just a little um but if you're like me and you have to basically draw on every bit of your brow then you're not gonna want a pencil like at all so that turned out really well darkening it i'm gonna go ahead over here i know they don't look even but i promise you by the time i'm done they will uh, my brows are naturally uneven. One arches and one does not. And it's just how I am. I'm not perfect. And, well, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you either you love it or you hate it, right? Not all of us can be born perfect. So, there's that. Oh, my God. My brows have never looked. This is so bad. Oh, I hate this product. Damn you, Urban Decay. I will literally, like, I've stopped buying stuff from Urban Decay, I'm not even gonna lie, because one, just, like, everything they've come out with is just so underwhelming, and also because of shit like this. Like, the I mean, I just don't understand. If you're gonna try to, like, come for the brow game, then you need to, like, bring it all. And this was just not it, sis, at all. Like, I'm gonna have to fix this. Like, completely with concealer, you'll see at the end. Like, it looks so long. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean off my brush and then I'm going to put the lighter color in because that's what I like to do to give it like almost like a gradient effect so they're not as bold up front. All right, so I'm going to go ahead into that light color just lightly and I am going to just very ever so slightly shade in the front and I like to make it like uneven. So it's not a complete straight line. 
so it doesn't look like you got got all that fake brow on. I mean, I do, but we don't want people to know. I want it to look like we just woke up this way. I mean, does anybody really believe that someone's brows look like this? Come on. Look at that. It's so patchy, and no matter how much I go over it, it's not picking up that color. So this is going to be a problem. All right, so I was able to go ahead and fill it in. I'm just going to take this and kind of just blend it through and blend those edges out so they're not as harsh. Um, yeah, here's the problem. I'm going to wind up having to redo my brows before I go out in public because this is so patchy and this is the darkest powder they have. So the fact that they look like this really irritates me. Like I already have issues doing brows because it's just not the easiest task to do, especially if you're like me and you have either naturally uneven brows or you have like naturally just no brows it's already hard for us to do our brows you know we don't have those beautifully naturally just arched brows so it makes it even more complicated so the fact that it is way more expensive than abh and it works like crap kind of is irritating so i'm going to try to take that darker color and try to see if i can fill in just a little bit more because i can't deal with the patchiness of the brow all right, so I'm now going to go in with the other products. So like I said, this one was $29 where the ABH one is $23. You're getting less product in this one. I will tell you that because this one is so much bigger. However, the powder in this one, these are like so similar, but at the same time, they're not. This powder is not patchy at all. Like when I put it on, it goes on. This is so patchy that I can't even fill in my brows with it and it kind of upsets me. I don't want to use the ABH stuff because I'm just trying to test out all the um, Urban Decay stuff. But also, just to give you a comparison, I have the Brow Wiz, I also have the Brow Definer, and then I have the Brow Blade. Okay, so this one is $26, and the ABH one is $21. You get 0 0.085 grams, and this one you get 0 0.05 grams. So you get more grams out of the ABH one, but this one does have that ink on it, which is basically pointless because it's a waste of freaking time. I have literally ever only had the ABH pencil break on me like once or twice. This complete thing has broken all the way down. Like it's useless at this point and I've wasted my money. So I'm kind of really freaking irritated about that. So we will move on to the next thing. The next thing is the Brow Endowed. And I'll go ahead and let you see that. And this one is also in dark drapes. And this was $28. So it is double-ended. One is a primer, one is a color. So I'm not going to prime it just because I've already put my brows on. But I did mess with this primer a little bit. And it is pretty thick, I would say. Um, it made my brows, like, stick, like, up. So I can go ahead and actually do it because I'll just go over the color with the color side so if you look here like it gives you that fluffy effect and like it sticks as if I were using a bar soap so I kind of like that a lot um I don't recommend going over your already done brows with primer but I'm just doing this to kind of show you like how thick this stuff is so if you like a thick primer for your brows or you like to put like the soap down then you can always do this but again you know the soap trick is much cheaper um so now I'll go in with the color side and what I think this kind of does for me is it just gives it almost like a more than one tone brow and this will make it darker because this is the dark drapes so again if you want your brows to look fluffy then this is really good for that Oh, and I did darken them, darken them just a little bit. So I really do like this one, and I think that it's worth the money if you have pretty decent, um, pretty full brows already. It'll give you just a darker color. Um, let's see what else it's made to do. So it says our training brow for the less than full arches. Our unique waterproof two-step brow volumizer creates the illusion 
of brows you were born with or wished you had been born with. So like I said, it just gives you that fuller, more volume, fluffy effect. So if you like something like that, then you're definitely gonna like this. And this one, I would definitely recommend. I definitely like it. Um, <laughs> Needless to say, like the only freaking thing I liked. <laughs> so then the last but not least is the brow finish, which is just a clear brow gel. And it's right here. And this one is $21. So I'm going to go ahead and I will just, it has like a really funny brush. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, but it's like flat over here, but then round here, it's so freaking weird. It has a weird smell to it too. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and gel my brows down if I can get any of the product to actually lay. So it's just your usual brow gel. I mean, it's pretty thick. Um, be careful, because what I'm seeing is the brushes are a little bit too long. So it is starting to brush away that color, the only bit of color I have on my brows. Um, so, I mean, again, the AVH brow gel is just as good and they, I don't have to worry about it kind of like washing away that color. So if you give me one second, I'm going to snatch these up with some concealer and I'll be right back. So for the most part, I did what I could with what I have, but again, these brow products are just so crappy. <laughs> Oh, my brows look like crap. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my face on and then I will be right back. All right, guys, so my final thoughts on these products are, honestly, I think that there are way more brow products that do way better job than these. My least favorite was the brow blade. It's a piece of crap. It broke. It no longer exists to me. Um, the ink part of it is just too thin and too runny. Um, it doesn't give you the tattoo effect, which it says it doesn't, but I think because it doesn't stay on as long, it's not as dark, so you can't see it as well. So that was a waste. Um, the brow endowed, I actually don't mind. I think that if you use it on like a natural brow or an everyday kind of thing, that it's gonna work out really well and it does give you that voluminous effect. And then I have the Double Down Brow Putty, which it wasn't even putty, it's powder, and I absolutely hate it. It was patchy, it, the color wasn't right, and unfortunately this is the darkest color. So if you have eyebrows or hair like mine or darker, you're kind of screwed because this is as dark as they have. But they have like four other ones for lighter brows. So, and then the last thing is the brow finish. It's just the brow gel. I don't mind it, but this one was $21 and it's a small bottle and it just, the brushes almost like started to take off the color of my brows. So all in all, Urban Decay, you're probably not watching this, but if you are, please stop making brow products because this was crap. And I really don't want you guys to waste your money. If you basically have like perfect brows and you just need a little fill in, then these will probably work for you because your brows are beautiful. But if you're like me and you have uneven brows, barely any brows, then this stuff is gonna be a huge waste of money and just kind of pass it in the store and go to ABH. Again, that is my tried and true. She never lets me down. Um, I've never had any issues. Again, I use the dip brow, the duo powder, and then her brow gel, which I don't have in front of me right now. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. Give me a big thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.